Yeah, cause it's J and J. Let's make some dough. J and J, watch me go. J and J, put credit spreads. Let's do some put credit spreads on the J and J. That's Johnson and Johnson. Currently downtown to Chinatown today, one fifty nine eighty two, down a buck seventy eight, or beep boop boop, one point one percent. So I was thinking, hey, let's just take a look at the put credit spread action on the J and the J. Let's head on over to the Robin Hood, Johnson and Johnson. Let's take a look at trading this. If we were to sell a put. A week out, yes, indeed. We'll go a week out, and we got to roll up past. Hey, he got his hat on. Go Cubs, go! Go Cubs, go! I went for a walk, a two-mile walk outside after my last video, and had had a nice lunch: chicken, rice, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. Yep, all mixed into one. Made kid three some pancakes. More butter, please. And Lady Spins a Lot, a.k.a. Sparkle Barbie, a.k.a. my wife, she's home and we're, or we, <laughs> you got a mouse in your pocket. <laughs> she is currently prepping, do a little pre-meal prep for friends coming over for dinner tonight. Maybe have a couple of cocktails out on the screen porch, enjoy each other's company, and hopefully they won't overstay their welcome. If you're an introvert, you're laughing with me because you know how we do, right? <laughs> Leave me a comment below. If you're an introvert and you know why I'm laughing at the statement, I hope they don't overstay their welcome. Speaking of overstaying my welcome, is this number right? Looking over at the Big Mac, I'm talking my way right out of some dough on Johnson & Johnson because it's now up to one fifty nine ninety. Doesn't mean we can't still put on a credit spread. So if we look at next week, okay, expiring July 14th, that's seven days out, the 157.50 strike, and it's currently tr trading at 159.93. It's going up, which means my premium is going down. How dare this market do this to me right before my very eyes? Let's see the S&P. You're a real son of a gun, aren't you? You're a real son of a gun. Johnson & Johnson just greened up right out of the Bollinger Band <laughs> that I was tracking. Okay, we'll just talk for a minute here. Maybe move on to our next thought that I was looking at, which was Pepsi. Let's leave Johnson & Johnson just for a second. In fact, let me write these down. See, that's I actually do have a little notepad and things that I use. Where's it at? I'll learn how to use this computer one of these days. So Johnson & Johnson, if we looked at the 157.50, I would get about, what, 34 cents. Okay, let's just put it on the board to take a look at what this credit spread would look like. And then if I bought the long leg at 155, that's my insurance, that's my protection, right? I'd have about a 20 cent credit click through, what would be the chances? Oh, I'd get that all day. So it'd be more like a, I don't know, 22 cent credit. We'd probably be able to fill that. So 22 cent credit, maybe do four or five of those, but let's write that down. 22 cent credit, right? Between 20 and 22. But the numbers on the board, if you look right here, is 34 and 14. Now we'll come back to that because as we speak, Johnson & Johnson is threatening 160 bucks, and I'm hoping that it creeps back down in just a moment. Watching it go to 160, thanks a lot. But let's go to the other trade I was thinking about, which was PepsiCo in the Pepsi. They have earnings next week, which isn't, you know, that's not a great time to be trading options on a underlying stock. Isn't that right, Brian? Hopefully you're still watching some videos from time to time, but if we look at the PepsiCo, I think Pepsi will probably hit spot on on their earnings. Well, why do you feel that way? I don't know. Just I asked the magic eight ball. Hey, so tell me, will PepsiCo hit their earnings report, earnings per share? And it came back, sure. <laughs> so we can trade based on that. 
sell put on Pepsi. We'll go a week out, seven days. And what are we looking at as far as the action? Whoa, there's some serious action between 182.50 and 180. So that's a $2.50 wide spread. So it's 100 shares for each of these contracts. So that'd be a $250 collateral per contract that we would trade. So if we clicked through, so Pepsi 183.90 as we speak. If we clicked on selling the short leg at 182.50 and then buying the protection long leg at 180, we'd be at 61 cents. Oh yeah, we could get more than that too. Can we get 64? Maybe 64 cents a contract. Let's try for four. We can fill four contracts and put 256 bucks in our pocket. Maybe put credit spread. PepsiCo, and there it is. So we have $1,000 collateral. So I coughed up, <coughs> turn your head and cough. I coughed up 1,000 bucks in collateral and I made $256 into my pocket. Now our plan will be to close that trade prior to earnings. I think earnings is, is it Thursday? Let's find out. We wanna trade that, close that and Put some cash in our pocket. Why is Johnson Johnson going up and the S and P is going down? Dow is going down. It's a head scratcher. Okay, so that's the thirteenth, right? And today is what the seventh? That's the seventh. So that's next Thursday. So my plan, okay, and that's why I like to record these live. We'll do it live. Is to trade out of this. Okay, so. We collected $256 that went right into my pocket just now. And between now and next Thursday, depending on what the share price is doing, what the market is doing with PepsiCo, I will try to close that trade and book at least 50% profit, preferably Mo. She cried, Mo, Mo, Mo. Mo, Mo, Mo. Come on, Johnson, Johnson. Get back in the 159s just so mentally I could feel good about it, about putting that trade on. Because if we looked at Johnson & Johnson again, now remember the numbers we looked at before was 34 slash 14, right? Trade Johnson & Johnson. Sell the put. It puts the lotion in the basket. So we put the put on for seven days out. My wife and kids say that I have music, movie, and quote Tourette's, and that's fine. I do. So when you hear me just say random things like, it puts the lotion in the basket, you know what movie that's from. If you do know, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Which movie is that quote from? Oh, it's about to get back down in the 159s. Let's do it. All right, so Johnson and the Johnson... If we looked at selling a put next week at 157.5, so it's at 34. Hmm, put it on the board. Let's put that on the board just for a second here. And then buy the 155, it's at 13. So that's actually a decent credit. And we can get more than that. I don't think we can get 24, but maybe 23. 22. Do I hear 22? Let's put 23 on the board for a moment and just see what happens. How many do we want? Let's go four. Four. Do you want to try five? Let's go five. $115 credit, five contracts. Trying to collect 115 bucks. We should be able to do that before the day ends. The collateral is $1,250. Now, the volatility is not as high because Johnson & Johnson doesn't have earnings next week. That's why Pepsi had very nice premium. So we'll just leave that on the board. So right now it's going to show pending over on the Robin Hood big board. So there's our pending. And then next week we have our Pepsi. There's our Pepsi credit spread right there, currently showing that I'm taking gas on it just because I just put it on and time is yet is not yet on my side, but it soon will be, especially once we roll through the weekend. 
Rest of the trades, we've got Bank of America still sitting pretty. Devon Energy, good. Valero, good. Verizon, good. Uh, Exxon Mobil, good. So all of the covered calls that are on the board expiring today are all looking really nice, sitting pretty. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for putting up with my made-for-radio face. I appreciate it very much. I will possibly check back today before the market closes. I did want to talk to you about my British American tobacco purchase I made yesterday. In fact, I'll just give you a quick look at it. What did we pay? BT and the I. I think we paid $32.98 a share. And there it is. You were correct. You remembered something for once. $32.98 a share. It's currently, whoa, way up there. I'm making all kinds of money. It's at $33.12, but we didn't buy it for share appreciation. We bought it for. We bought it for the Divi. If we look at BTI, okay, so we bought 500 shares. I was going to slow play it by 500 yesterday and 500 today, but because it's up today, my mental mind cannot beep, boop, boop, compute that. So I'm just going to stick with the 500 shares unless it does something before X dividend date that prompts me to buy more shares. If we click, this is um, seekingalpha.com. Here's the summary, which says the analysts say it's a buy. Wall Street says it's a strong buy. And the beep, boop, boop, the propeller heads, the quantitative nerds say it's a hold. So I'd like to see all green there. But when you add these up, that's still a good number. If we click on the dividends tab, scroll it down, and we see that they have this monster dividend yield, 8.14%. And it's going to pay out on... August 23rd, okay, so one day after our 25th wedding anniversary, me and Sparkle Barbie will be celebrating on August 22nd, 25 years of blissful marriage. Sometimes blissful, right? <laughs> Whoa, Johnson & Johnson, you should have waited. <laughs> it's now down at 159.87. Anyways, but I need to own it before, in the morning of or before, July 13th. So that's why I bought it yesterday. And the 13th, that's also going to be on Thursday. So I'll be watching this stock early in the week to see if it dips back down into the 32s. And then I'll probably put some more dough on it. But right now, as it stands, I have the 500 shares and I'm going to get 70 cents per share, which is $350 bills. As far as my abacus is concerned, is that correct? Seven zero times 500 equals $350. And then even if I sold it right after that, it wouldn't bother me. It's just a, you know, I had some room for a sin stock because I had my Philip Morris called away at a, you know, a little bit of a profit, collected some nice dividends on Philip Morris and then sold covered calls, collected some premium and then had them called away for more than I paid for them but Philip Morris currently isn't at a number that I would want to purchase it at. I think they're, they're what, 98 bucks maybe? 98, 98.22. So I like Philip Morris 95 and under. And so we'll always keep an eye on them as well. I like these smoke, smoke, smoke them if you got them stocks. Uh, Altria Group, ticker symbol MO. Philip Morris, ticker symbol PM. And British American Tobacco, ticker symbol BTI because they like to pay out sweet cash for my pockets. So that is my thoughts on that. And thanks for viewing. Make sure to subscribe. Leave me a lovable comment. And you ha you just have to click on the little like button. If nothing else, click on the, the like button and I would love it if you did. Have a wonderful weekend if I don't tune back in. Otherwise, I may if I I may spend some time recapping what's gone on so far in my first six months, my first half year of consecutive or consistent options trading. So I have all the spreadsheets, all the data. I do have to update June's numbers because we were out of town three of those weeks in June. Yeah. So maybe I'll update that spreadsheet, share it with you in a video. Otherwise I'll be back maybe for another trade before the trading day ends, which will be in one hour and seven minutes, according to the Swatch Watch. But again, thank you so much for tuning in. You and I are becoming really pretty much best friends in stocks, options, and dividends. And I got to tell you, I appreciate that relationship 
see you in the next video.